Three, two, one, action. <laughs> Easter. Hey, it's Kaylee and Delight here from Freddy's Girls. Happy to be back. Yeah, we've, we've had a long hiatus. My girl here went on an adventure overseas and has just got back, but we're ready to get right back into Freddy's Girls. Yeah, we're ready to get crafting and take you along with us. So tonight, as you can see, we've got a bunch of junk here that we're ready to make beautiful. Yeah. So I'm going to be working with some IOD tonight on doing a transfer on this here tray which mom found at a garage sale for a church that's opening up in North Kildonan and uh, yeah this is uh, I'm trying to decide what to put on but we've got this iron orchid oh boy yeah they're, they're all falling been, a lot of them have been cut out so what's this called Brocante. Brocante. How do you know it's pronounced brocante well, and not brocante? I've heard, I've listened to enough YouTube, I know what they call it. Oh, these are nice. Yeah, they are nice. Some pretty ones. Like oh, those birds, oh, yeah. I put those birds oh, on, on it. Yeah. <laughs> well, while she's showing you those and picking out, I put a, I've made a marriage here. I had a candlestick on the bottom and a nice little wooden round on top that I, I oiled with some of my um, hemp oil. So I'm now going to uh, clear wax this bottom and then dark wax it. So that's why, well our things are all in various stages tonight so that you can um, you see several things at different. It's not all just starting painting from scratch. Some things have already been painted. The color I used on this is called Sandy Blonde. And uh, it's kind of a nice, um, what would you call it? Kind of a nice earthy color mm -hmm. that looks nice if you go with a dark wax or if you go with uh, a white wax, uh, then you can get a white wax and you can get this look. Oh, so depending lovely. on the waxes, uh, but this one I thought about going white, but I decided I'm going to go dark on this one. Something so different. I peeled off, I'll be honest, I don't know if I've ever done a transfer here, but it's got the lines on it so you can try and be, you know, even and square and we just peel her off and stick her on and you just run it over with a credit card, right? No, well I use that. It well, I mean, yeah, the same, same idea. Yeah. yeah, that's all you do, okay? Yeah, just make sure it's centered. Um, Do you measure it? No. Well, you can clean it. Yeah, I mean, maybe you can. I'll there are there have been times I wished I would have. The reason I'm white wax or clear waxing this first and instead of going directly to the dark wax is because the this is such porous, this DIY paint that we use and sell is uh, very, it's clay based, it's, it's very pigmented. It usually in most cases only takes one coat. But um, it, the wax, especially the dark wax, will grab right into it. And so I like to put a clear coat on first. Then I've got more, um, like I can move it around easier. I've got more control over it, I guess. That's the word I would use. Okay. I have to say I wasn't listening to a word you said. I'm just trying okay. to focus. It's okay. It's fine. So you're just rubbing it on now here. With your credit card like material. This comes with five? Yeah, those come with them. I've got several of those sticks around now because every new package you get one with it. So you rub her on and then you pull her off, eh? Does yeah, it... but okay, so if you've never done it before, I so, should show you. Like you'll start in one corner and you'll see it starts to lift away from the film and then you just keep kind of moving along. You need to probably have, have pressure it. on. Okay, yeah, that. I see. Yeah, and then it's, yeah. And then it'll just lift right off. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Okay. When I talked about doing the marriage here, um, what I do is I use a glue, well, there's a couple of glues that are really good. Lately, I've been using a lot of E6000, or there are Gorilla Glues as well that work really well, the clear Gorilla Glues. And when you oh, there we go. add, yeah, and then you just kind of keep following it. Once it, yeah. and if something doesn't 
come off, just go back and rub a little bit. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah and then it releases. Yeah. Okay. So your gorilla glue. Well, yeah. Like it's 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 married for life when you put that on. You don't need to worry about your things coming apart. So it is a nice option if you want something to have a pedestal. You can. Uh, oh, and believe me, Mom's always <laughs> looking for new pedestal options. I like my pedestals. Cloches and. I say cloche, you say cloche. cloche. I don't know how to pronounce it, I just... Cloche. Cloche. That's what I say. Yeah. I don't know if that's the right way or not. I'm sure it is. Yeah. Just like, I don't know how to pronounce Bronte or whatever this is. <laughs> Brocante. 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 Okay, so now I'm going to take some of the dark wax. So DIY has uh, a clear wax and a white wax and... They have like dark wax, it's like brown wax and dark wax, black wax. Um, so I'm gonna use that now on here on top of it. I, when I buy the waxes, I buy the clear and the white in the big, big containers because we go through a lot of it. The dark wax, I don't use as much of, so I usually get it in smaller, the smaller sizes. So you're putting some dark wax on there, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna age her up a bit. Yeah, that's good. Are you gonna add anything to your top? I don't think so. Just let it go. Just keep it. I mean, you could even use it as a little charcuterie because it's got the hemp oil on it, and hemp oil is food safe. So you can put food on top, and it's like hard as a rock now. I put the oil on it last night, so it doesn't take long, and it hardens right up. Yeah, I'm thinking I should probably put an apron on. Oh, after this piece, I will. We're gonna get your new clothes ruined. Yes, I my my new dress. I went to Packers in okay. Selkirk. You told me about that store, <laughs> and I got three dresses. They have a. Um, when did you go? Oh, I had a like. I, they sent me this thing in the oh, mail. Now you're a favorite. Fifty dollar coupon if I use it by. I think it was like, I don't know, the end of. Ooh, I did it. It was in, sometime in April. Anyway. Oh, yeah. So anyways, you just need a little bit of muscle. And there you go. She came off. Um, do you finish it with anything? Okay, now what you do is you turn this over. So you're on the shiny side now. Okay. And it's called burnishing. So you would just rub it over there just to make it really melded in. Okay, because I had seen them where a few times, like, the little flower bits broke off. And yeah, to... don't use this side because that can rip it off. Okay. And then what I will do, set that aside, I will put a coat of our, our big top. Our, yeah, big top. Yeah. Again, DIY has a top coat. You can use any top coat, but we, we really like this stuff, so I will put that on later. So this is a piece that Mom bought for, how much did you buy this for? Like a buck. A buck. We painted it. Uh, they had already inside. started to paint it, but they had done a terrible job. And we put this transfer on, and we're going to post it for, I don't know, what do you think it's worth, guys? But uh, so that's all we you gotta, you know gotta, you gotta feed the family somehow. <laughs> well, you can't do all this work for nothing. I mean, really, we're just having a lot of fun with it. But still. Yeah. Okay, okay, so you put it on now, you're rubbing her off. Now I'm rubbing her off. I struggle with that dark wax. Why? I don't know. It like, just takes control. Well, not if you put the clear wax on first. That's why you need to put the clear wax on. Otherwise, it does take control. Yeah. But um, So I've got these candlesticks here. We always are on the hunt for candlesticks with some lovely detailing. So these have been sprayed, I believe, with just a black. No. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The Actually, black. I didn't even. They were just dark. Colors. Oh, they were dark when we got them. Painted them with the white... I don't know which white is this. It's white use? swan. It's white swan. Probably the best selling and the one I use the most too. Your go-to. Nice your go-to. White, white. So that's the DIY chalk paint, and now we're gonna wet distress them, and it just brings out all of this detail. See, that's here. the thing about chalk paint that is so nice is that you can wet distress. You don't need to sand if you're using an acrylic paint or that you know anything like that you won't get anywhere with wet distressing but on a on chalk paint it it will because it's water soluble and then once that's all done then we'll seal it with big top 
Yeah, big top, isn't it? Now that's uh, been painted yeah. for a few days, so you might have to rub a bit. That's the thing with the like. Usually, I will wet distress the same day I'm doing it. Oh, and then it's gonna. It's come a little off. easier. Yeah. Yeah. Easier. Well, it's coming off. It's okay, so there's my base on that. That is. Funny. I like this chalk paint. So the other day I was painting that little end table out there. I have to say, I don't know if it's my favorite to paint furniture with chalk paint. I, agree. I, I like my fusion in the one. Like, I don't mind it if you're going to distress and stuff, but if you want to keep it a clean look, it's probably because I'm wanting, it's just a small piece I'm working on. But yeah, it's great if you're going to distress, like like uh, if you were going to distress around the drawers, like on that nightstand, Yeah. then you would really like the chalk paint. But if you want the clean, clean look that's not distressed, yeah, go, go fusion mineral. All it's, way. Yeah, fusion mineral. Yeah. I mean, it's nice in that you don't have to do any prep to the, the piece of furniture. Yes. It adheres to anything and all of that. Like just wash her down, but you don't need to sand and take the top coat off like you would the fusion mineral. You need to do that. Yeah. So there's more prep up front, but then. But I really wouldn't recommend it unless you're planning to distress it. Right. I mean, yeah. I, I I would agree. It's not my. It's not. It's beautiful on all these smaller type projects. Like you can't beat. Um, the clay based paint and I think a container this size what is this uh, uh um, six I don't even know there. I don't know on the other side uh, eight. eight ounces eight ounces like honestly I've been using a weathered wood is another popular color that's what these are that was your first love I think <laughs> I've been using you can I'm sure you can get 40 or 50 projects out of one and the 60 like 40 or 50 of, of these small sticks. things yeah, yeah. And this one is a 16 ounce and yeah, it goes forever. And actually when it comes to white swan and things that I use a lot of, I buy the 32 ounce. There is a 32 ounce and cause, because I go through Yeah, you're that. using it on, I mean, just this white, it's never going to go out of style, right? No, it's, it's some white that are oh, just that's lovely. Yeah. Show, like show them how that's coming out. Oops. She's coming along. Yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, I'll keep the So what I'm going to do now, uh, this is this is weathered wood, and it's like a darker brownie gray kind of and gray, I would say. And um, I, I I I like to use white wax on this as well. It really meets the tone. It, it's quite nice. But I've also discovered dry brushing on the on. The, Certain who, colors, who, like who on this. Where did you discover dry brushing from? Oh, Jamie Ray did. <laughs> Anyhow, one of my YouTubers. So I'm going to dry brush on over top anything that has a lot of, uh, what do you call this stuff? Like uh, detail. A lot I of detail. Is that what we call it? Yeah, yeah. Then okay. it's nice to dry brush. If it's just a flat piece, it's not gonna it's not gonna work so good. Um, like this was this one was white waxed, but. Uh -huh. uh, so anyhow, what, what dry brushing just means is that you just don't have water on your brush. Like, don't use a have brush. Have water that, on your brush? No. No, no don't water. Don't use a brush that's been recently washed. Don't put a lot of paint on it. And I like to dab off most of what I put on. And then you just start going. Yeah. So you can see, it just brings out the, where it just looked like a gray thing before. Now all of a sudden it's got... It's got, uh, you see all the texture and the details on these feathers. And it doesn't take much. No, not much paint at all. No. No. No, oh, that's lovely. Now it becomes a statement piece. <laughs> and then this would get big topped after as well. Yeah, you could use wax or a big yeah, top. Yeah, you can use wax. It depends yeah, what you like. With a lot with. of grooves like this, I mean, wax would work, but. It's harder to maybe, there might be build up in some of those grooves and it's harder to get it out. Whereas with the big top, you never have that problem. It just goes on. Okay, right. Almost done this guy here. I want to do, the thing about uh, this distressing is you can do it as much or as little as you want. Yeah. 
can find another yeah. corner. But it's it's personal taste. Some people like things not very much done, and some people like heavy distressing. And, mm -hmm. So, and the thing is, if you think you've done something and you don't like it, like you've distressed too much, or here I'm wondering if I got too much dry brushing right there. You just get out your paint and go over it and do it again. Like it's not the end of the world. I always tell myself, it's just paint. Believe it or not, we've been painting for, well, as long as I can remember. And that's always the motto for mom. You can just paint over it. You can yeah. just paint over it. <laughs> so not, yeah, we were always very, very free. Because if you make a mistake, yeah. it's not permanent. That's so here's learn. my my piece. So all I'm going to do to finish it up now is just, uh, you know, put that clear coat, the big top on. And then if you don't, it's going to get messy and it's going to, you know, over time, right? So. Yeah, you might as well seal it up good and then you can do whatever. Like as far as you can wipe it with a rag, like I wouldn't put, I wouldn't put it in the dishwasher or leave it in the sink, but you could wipe with a wet rag and all that kind of Would stuff. You? Okay, so here is my peacock. Oh, that's good. And uh, you said those have been pretty popular, hey? You know, whenever I find a peacock, I buy it because, yeah. <laughs> they, they how, do you, sell. how do you advertise them? Like an a ornamental peacock? Is that what you call it? Or what do you call it when you post I, it? I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> but how do people find do. these things? I don't know. I, I guess on marketplace people follow me or whatever, and so Mom's got quite a follow. They, they always seem to sell anyhow. So. Yeah, no, I like it. Okay, that one has um, I put uh, Bohemian blue, like undercoated Bohemian blue, and put a big top on it so the blue wouldn't distress off. So that's gonna come. It's still gonna look dark, but it's it's uh, it's a deep deep blue, the Bohemian. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do on this guy, I see a couple spots <coughs> of weathered blood that we missed, so I'll get that out and get that dry. Okay. Often what I do if I'm having a paint palooza on my own or just doing up several items, I'll have my um, heat gun Mm -hmm. And then I can dry dry things really quick. I don't have to wait for them to dry. Yeah. But I'll just wait well, for nice this little, to dry. That's a nice little machine you got there. Yeah, it works good. It's like a heavy duty hair bow. I don't think you'd want it on your oh, hair. Oh no, you light yourself on fire. I have enough trouble in my hair with my regular bow dryer. Yeah. Okay, so that will just let sit and dry. What are you planning to do to finish that? I think thing? maybe I don't know white wax or should I do the do this one. Oh, well, you're doing it already, so. I don't like that piece. Yeah, no, the white, the, 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 the wet, or the dry brushing. Yeah. Good, I think. Now, if I could find a little cloche on top here, that would be good. Eh? You never know. It might. Okay, so this thing, this is, looks like a little odd thing, but it's, um, it's a little wooden box, little wooden flower box, mm -hmm. and I put some feet on it, and glued some, it might be 6,000, but some feet on it, and I put a mold on the front. I should show you my molds. They're IOD as well. Oh yeah, I uh, haven't had a lot of experience with those I've yet. got several different kinds, mm -hmm. but this is the one I used on here. It's called Olive Crest. Which one? So I used, Is this whole thing called all of Yes. Okay. So I used that one and that one on the side. Yeah. And I've got another flower pot coming up later that you will see. And I used this, this um, I don't know what you call that, kind of like a nameplate thing in the yeah. middle. And um, so you'll see that when we'll get onto that. So that, I put clay in there. I've got several different kinds of clay, like the DOS clay or the IOD air dry clay is lovely but it's about twice the price of the DOS clay. And I find the DOS clay works just as well. Can you get that? D-A-S. Yes, Canada? Michaels. Michaels. Oh, right, Michaels. And you I found put, when you went down yeah, to the I States? did stock up at Hobby Lobby when we went down to the States. I put some cornstarch in, in them, a little bit of cornstarch, tap it out, and then put your, your clay in, and it just peels out really nicely. We'll do another video. Yeah, we'll, we'll show do you one. how. Yeah, exactly. But this one I've distressed here, slightly different style. But, you know, there you get your effect, whatever you're looking for. 
But speaking of flower boxes, I'm going to oh, have yeah. this one. While she's getting that, I was just going to say that I then painted over these after they dried. I painted over them with a color called um, Queen Bee. It's one of DIY's colors, Queen Bee. And then I'm going to go back over it with the um, This Is Weatherwood. And then I'll distress back a bit to this Queen Bee. And then I'll probably put some white wax or something on it too. So I'll get working on this. So speaking of flower boxes, we've got this one here, which we're going to have as a prize for the month of July. So since Mom and I are back online... And we're, we're planning to do one video a week. Yeah. We're aiming for Tuesdays. So yeah. set your clocks for Tuesday evenings. <laughs> yeah, and we'll try not to disappoint anybody. So we're going to have this as a prize. So if you... What do you have to do? You have to share our video, share a video, and subscribe to us. Our channel. To our, our channel, channel. To our YouTube channel. And then just let us know in the comment section that you've shared it and you've subscribed. And we will enter you in a draw for this. Um, you'll have to come pick it up at our place. And uh, yeah, we just wanted to say our thank you. And we have a lot of fun doing this together. And uh, yeah. I don't know, so that's, that's... I had fun doing that box. That's another technique that I'll show you sometime. It's called paint inlays. So those little flowers on there are actually paint. Oh, you were, yeah, you were telling me about that. Yeah, that was actually a lot of fun. Is this Cricut, the flower market thing? Or yeah, this that was from Cricut. I mean, okay. that Cricut. Yeah, so yeah. that's it. And I think this is a Dave Knapp special. Yeah. This is actually homemade. Yeah, Dad made yeah. me the box. Yeah. So you can you can be the owner of that if you um, if you share and subscribe. I'm gonna do another transfer on a circle. I think it's gonna be a bit trickier. But this one, yeah, you you've got the uh, big top on this side, hey? On the, yeah. Just on this side here. I mean, okay, that's that's this is the debatable thing. I see so many comments on this. Should you, after you paint, before you put your decals or transfers on, should you big coat, big top them? What do you call it? Yeah, big, big top. top. Should you, or with any kind of, should you top coat them or should you put the transfer directly on the paint? Honestly, to me, I, it's, it's all good. Either way is good. Uh, the only thing I say is with big top, if I'm going to put big top on first, I want it to dry overnight before I put the transfer on. Well, but how is that any different from if you're just doing it directly on the paint? Can well, you put the transfer on sooner? It doesn't need to dry I overnight. think as long as the paint is dry, I've had very good success with just putting it directly on the paint. What's your secret for doing this curve? You might have to cut it. You've got scissors. You might have to kind of make clips in the cellophane there. Yellow would kind of almost look like like wood if I just distress back lightly, you know, on, on the edges and stuff. Mm -hmm. So that's why I chose that color. Yeah, that's good. It could be for like your mail or I don't know. Yeah, you could put like you know those little IKEA planters. You could put those in there. Those pots. You could put. Yeah, you could put mail. You could put all sorts of things. Well, let's see. I'm... You could put your utensils. I've seen them on the counters. And people put their uh, utensils in there. Okay. Oh, so. yeah. I sold a utensil container the other day, a wooden one oh. that we had left over from the shop. Oh, good. Good. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, we were disappointed. We had, well, anyhow, it didn't. We had our stuff at uh, New Era Emporium in the Exchange District. And then all of a sudden in February, we were on our way two days away from. Heading off to Texas for a month, and I got a call that the shop was closing down and we needed to get our stuff out. So, Dad and I made a quick trip down there and, and <laughs> moved everything out. So, now I think pretty much everything has been sold, but it was a, a lot of stuff in the basement for a while. Yeah, I just found a handful of things I posted the other day that were left over. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is a bit trickier doing it on an angle. Yeah, it is. Or on a curve. Or <coughs> curve. I'm not lying. I'm not lying. Do you want to lay it down? Or? No, I don't think that would be any easier. To dry. So I'm going to move over onto this. So this is a tin can, like a kind of like a French flower pot is what it is turning into with the use of those molds. I stuck those on the side. Here's one that is finished. It's a little different design. And uh, I started off again with weathered wood. And then I took another color, a lighter gray called gravel road. And I did a, a dabbing thing on top of that. And then it will get uh, big topped as well. Maybe, I'm, actually, I think I'm going to do some waxing on this. This one's dry. Okay. I'm going to put some white wax around here. Okay, yeah, I think it needs something. Yeah. It's there. Yeah. What, that's the gravel road over top. Yes. Do you think it needs, um, or dark wax? Do you think it needs? Oh, dark wax. Maybe, maybe dark it. wax and white wax. Or okay, maybe they'll start with know. some clear wax. <laughs> yes, hold on. I like having access to these all these things so we can have a good supply you know? oh boy but these things they seem to be pretty forgiving in these iod's like if they rip off a bit you can yeah you can just go back and lay it right on top and you'll get yeah you'll get it again it's a nice product really but it's quicker than painting it there's no question about that some white wax on here. Uh, how are you doing? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm further along. It's, am I taking longer than I'm supposed to? Oh, no. I just wondered if you're... How are you doing? Well, I'm trying to get everything. Okay. Um, we need to get more of these shop shelves. Those blue ones? Yeah. Where do you get those from? Home Depot, I think, is where I'm getting them. What, they're just more absorbent than they're regular. They're like almost a cloth, eh? Hey? Yeah. Yeah. They're stronger. They're, they're quite a bit stronger. Like they're, those other paper towels tend to tear on you. Mm -hmm. So I'll just dab a little bit of the dark in here. I don't want too much of the dark. And then I'll. Yeah, I'm almost done. I'll show you guys in a sec here. I think I'm going to just clear wax the rest of it. That will bring the colors out. And when you put the clear wax on, they call it the freak out factor because people are like, what? How do you erase my color? But when it dries, it goes back to, uh, it just makes the color more vibrant. It doesn't, it yeah, doesn't, it doesn't change that. Exactly. Like it's not going to look like this when it's, it's getting quite a bit darker when I put it on. But when it dries, it will be lighter, but more vibrant. Lighter, but vibrant, if that makes sense. Yeah. So I have to ask, do you guys think we're crazy for making our videos and coming online? We debated this. <laughs> we talked about it, and Mom said, I think you really need to make a go at Freddy's Girls, Kaylee. And I was like, okay, sure, I'll do it. And she's like, I'll videotape you, I'll hold the camera. And I was like, okay, okay. And then two days later, she says, well, do you want me on the videos too? And I said, of course I want you on the videos. Well, you know what? I, you know why I said that? Because I was going to be videotaping, but my problem was going to be, I wouldn't be able to be quiet and not say anything. Well, no, and I can see here, like, when I'm doing this, it's you're focusing on this, and it's hard to talk sometimes. Yeah, but that looks great. Yeah, I think I got it straight. Oh, so this great. is... It took me however long it took me, five minutes, but uh, it's really nice. And again, we just yeah. put a bit of big top over top, and it's good. People okay. seem to like those pictures, jugs and stuff. Eh? They're so that's what's so neat about this paint. You can go and buy some old jug with some old flower from the 70s on it in the thrift store. And no, you don't want the flower with the 70s. But this paint, like this... Uh, chalk paint just sticks to anything so you just put it on top of your ceramic jug and you've already just and completely you, updated your um you've got yourself a designer label <laughs> there you go yep 
So what should I do? Um, do you want to, um, I don't know, put some hemp oil oh, yeah, and this one. that back together? Yeah, this one here, we got at the MCC on Saturday we went. And uh, all we've done is we have, so it's a tray, beautiful piece of wood, which we sanded down and we just sanded it down, it hasn't been finished. So I'm going to put some hemp oil on. Again, this is, the, and then just some new knots, some new, uh, new, some of these guys. What are, what are these called? Handles? Handles. There, I'm getting dementia. <laughs> no, I'm not like getting dementia. Yeah, no, I can't think of, you just pour it on, it doesn't matter. I just pour it on and then rub it, rub it around. And look, that's, like, are that you? would make a really nice charcuterie board or anything, oh, you know? And it'll just... You need a fair amount of it. Yeah, like. it'll make it really vivid. It'll really, um... It'll just make the wood just rich, really rich, I guess is the word. What kind of wood is this, do you think? I don't know. I, I don't, it's not oak, I don't think. I'm not really sure. I, I'm it. a millennial. I don't know my wood types. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's a skill you guys have just passed that's on to us. It's not good. It's not good to not really What kind of wood is this, guys? But here, I put the head below it. You know the wood. Yeah, comment. I put it on and I guess I'll do the edges and I'll do the other side too, the back, or not. Well, you might want to just do one side at a time, let that yeah. dry. Good. But I mean like theoretically I will do the yeah, back. Yeah, theoretically you will finish the back. And you just do one coat of it? If it looks nice and even and it was enough of it, yeah, that looks good. Essentially one or two yeah. coats. And then you uh, try to finish you our backs off as good as our fronts. Well, almost. Yeah, but that's what makes it look more professional yeah. and quality. Yeah. That's true. So if you're washing, like you said, it's all food safe. Yeah, that and is you completely would food safe. Wipe it down with the rag, or like you could put it in the sink with soap and water. Or I don't know if I'd go as far as soap and water, but I'd like wipe it off with a damp rag yeah. for sure. Yeah. So I should let it dry before I do anything else. Well, you could put the handles okay, on. I'll put the handles on. I think that would work. You're gonna, there's a screwdriver in my silver drawer. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what time did we start? We I think we're almost at about half an hour. Yeah. We're trying not to be too long. We don't want to bore you guys or put you to sleep or anything. We'll but be back. Let us know what a good length is and what you yeah. like and when you're starting to tune out, at what point was that? Yeah. When did we bring you back? So all of these items will that we are doing will be for sale. Um, uh, on our Facebook page, you can contact us, message us on Facebook, or they will get posted on Marketplace. Mm hmm So I think I forgot the washer on that one. Redo it. Yeah. Whoops. Well, one thing we've discovered that if you are my Facebook friend, um, oh yeah, because <laughs> I was looking for mom posts the other day and I couldn't find one of them. So yeah. So you won't see it on that. So that's all been dabbed and it's gonna let that dry. It's kind of got a two-tone galvanized look almost. You won't see them on Marketplace, but you can see them on Freddy's Girls on Facebook. This isn't going to fit. What? Oh, oh maybe it's different. The holes now. are only one hole fits here. Oh, okay, because I changed. I thought they were going to be close. Okay, well, but you we'll know have what? To... We'll have to drill new holes, yeah. but it won't matter. You won't be able to see the other hole. No, because it's got like a it's... plate there. Yeah, so. I can't put this handle on now, but I will, and it will look like show them, you show them the nice this is the right. This is how it's going to look with these beautiful handles. We'll show you a, a before, an after picture. So, you can so we are in midst, midst uh, section here again because this I'm waiting for this to dry, this, this uh, flower box, to show the distressing on it, I, and I didn't use my handy dandy heat gun. Oh. So what do you think? What do you think? Should we wrap her up for now, and you'll show them an after picture later on, or? Hmm. 
We'll show you in part two. Stay yeah, tuned for stay next tuned. week. And we'll finish this off so next week. So thanks week. for joining. And don't forget, if you subscribe and share, share. We really want you to share. And then just let us know in the comments and we'll enter you in for a draw. Share and subscribe. And for, we'll this is for the whole month of July. So at the end of July, we'll have our draw. All right. Thank you. It was great seeing you all again.